crowds but if you have been here before you know the rules uh this is our own thing we don't say uh woo when we're stoked here this is fucking texas if y'all are stoked let me hear a fucking yeehaw y'all stoked yeehaw fuck yeah there you go i'm really stoked today guys because i have some very exciting news to tell you uh i have officially become a full-time comedian yeah yeah because i got fired from my job um I'm kidding, I'm not a full-time comedian, I haven't booked enough gigs. Um, anyway, <laughs> start with the fun stuff, right? Um, yeah, no, uh, this has been a, a weird time, a, a weird time, a, it's been a scary time for me because a lot of my friends have been going through breakups like in the past few months. I think it's because, you know, Mercury was in power rate or whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> no, it, was a, it was a very weird time. And everybody's dumping everybody. I'm still with my girlfriend, and that's great. Not because I love her, but just because dating's fucking weird. You know what I mean? Like, dating's weird, and I don't want to. I don't want to get back into that again. Mainly because, like, the girls I'm into, they like being like real dark and mysterious. And I'm cool with that. Like, I love that. Like, dark and mysterious girls are the girls. Like, if you tell me, hey, don't open that door, I'm gonna want to open that fucking door, right? That's how it works. But uh, sometimes girls can overdo it. Like this one time, the last time that I flirted with a girl before I met my girlfriend, I was 17. But this was a while back, right? I was at a, at a gaming convention in Austin. And, and I saw this girl just sitting there by herself reading a comic book, you know, dark curly hair, an old Smith's t-shirt, just wearing a military jacket. This bitch has never even seen combat. But whatever, <laughs> I'm with it, let's go, right? So I go up and talk to her, and things are going well, you know, we were having a conversation, and I didn't know this was a bad thing to say, but I ended up telling her, and I quote, uh, we should grab a coffee later, and that just threw the whole thing away. Because this is where the dark and mysterious things comes in, this is when you can overdo it, because then she starts going like, no, you shouldn't get close to me. I'm a mess, I'll fuck you up. I'll mess up your life. And I'm just like, lady, you're 17. The worst things you've done is like one bong rip and a sea breeze. Like, chill the fuck out. You know, like, I can handle this. Also, you're gonna mess up my life. This is a weird thing to brag about, but I can make a mess all by myself. I don't fucking need you to do that for me. So it's weird, and I don't wanna deal with that. You know, dating is weird. I think that's why a bunch of people just wanna go and fuck aliens now. But like, do you really think that's better? Do you think that's easier? Like, what's your plan? Like, what's the what? What, what are you gonna What are you gonna do? You get to Area Fifty One. You see an alien. Do aliens speak English? Is that Is that a thing? Are you gonna just show up and just be like, Hey? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, hold up. Listen here. Uh, I uh, I was too dumb to be an astronaut, <laughs> so like, <laughs> I couldn't explore space, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> How's about I explore you? <laughs> Guaranteed it's not gonna work. <laughs> no, but I did lose my job, and I shouldn't be surprised. Hard left, right? Fuck it, let's get into it. I did lose my job, and I'll tell you why I'm not surprised about that. Uh, when I started my job, uh, there were six weeks of training. First week, I found out the internet was unblocked. So that just means I'm not gonna do shit for six weeks, right? Like that's what, that's what we all understand. So I'm in this for six weeks. Everybody's like looking up like important information. I work for a health insurance company. I should have said that. Uh, everyone's looking like important up like important information like prescription medications, health plans, ambulance services, and I'm just here like. If it's not butter, then what is it? You know, like I'm asking real questions. <laughs> Six weeks go by, last day of training, they take, they put us all together and they just go, uh, congratulations on making it this far, but don't forget, tomorrow when you hit the phones, life will be in your hands. Fuck me, right? <laughs> I just fucked around for six weeks, like I'm just scared. First day I hit the phones, I get a, I get a call, some sweet old lady just like, why can't I get heart medications? And 
I'm gonna have to say like, listen lady, I don't know, but did you know the original voice of Bugs Bunny was allergic to carrots? <laughs> That's all I learned this past six weeks. They're not kidding though, life will be in your hands. Um, two weeks into the job, I get a call. It's this older gentleman, right? It's an old, old guy. I answer the phone, he just goes, uh, listen man, I'm 92, I'm tired. I think I'm gonna kill myself. Right? <laughs> that was my fucking reaction. Like, what are you gonna do? Well, here's what I did, because I'm a fucking genius. I just go, sir, don't do it. Don't kill yourself. Did you know the original voice of Bugs Bunny was a word? <laughs> Y'all still with me? Yeah. 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 Suicide jokes. Great way to start. Yeah. Th thank you. Somebody fucking. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. yeah.